Welcome back to our channel. In the last video, we shared with you guys that our next in our next adventure, we will be buying a boat. So we're gonna share with you guys why we're buying a boat and yeah, pretty much just everything that goes with it and and pretty much we found a boat, right? We found a boat. First question, why did we decide to buy a boat? Why? Go. Go. <laughs> right. So we decided to buy a boat since traveling like with the dogs on airplanes and renting houses like you like you guys know we travel like chasing the wind so it's pretty hard to find a house and that accepts dogs and that it's big enough for the dogs and everything so i mean everything is very complicated so we decided to buy a boat so we could use as a house and chase the wind so like alejo said right uh we are wind chasers and so with a boat, we would literally have exactly what we want, right? So a boat is over water, we have wind, and that's exactly what we're looking for. So our idea is just like head to the Caribbean islands, just sail around the Caribbean islands and just find the best kite spots and just kite as much as we can, right? And that's pretty much it. Second question, are we afraid of buying a boat or like living on a boat, right? Right, are we afraid? We're never afraid. So, um, we just don't think about it, honestly. Like, so many things could go wrong, like, but we're not thinking, you know, what if we are caught in the middle of a storm, or what if we're caught in the middle of a hurricane, or what if we encounter a, a container in the middle of the ocean, like, you know, so many things could go wrong. But it's just like with anything out there, you know, you can't be afraid of pretty much everything, so you wouldn't even go out on the street because a car, you know, would, could run you over. So we don't really think about it. Like, we don't think about the things that could go wrong because possibly if we do that, then we would be really scared and we wouldn't end up doing anything. Um, but we're not. We're very positive. We're, 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 we're gonna learn what we need to learn and yeah, we're feeling good, right? Question number three. Do we have experience sailing? No, we don't have experience no, we don't. sailing. No, we don't have any experience sailing a boat, driving a boat, whatever it is. Anything related to a boat? <laughs> anything experience with boats. <laughs> yep, we don't. So yeah, we just, I mean, we're reading everything online and trying to get as much information as we can. And obviously we'll just learn by doing things and yeah. That's it, right? Exactly. So we don't know much. Um, we have the knowledge of wind because we kite surf, so we kind of have that like wind um, where it comes from, up, wind, down, and like all that stuff. But aside from that, we don't really know much. Um, we plan on taking a course, right? At some point, but I don't know. At some point. Question number four. What about the dogs? What about the dogs? Like everything else, they're coming with us. They're they are the adventure dogs and they will be going with us everywhere, right? Yep. <laughs> yep. So, do they like the ocean? Do they like the water? They do like the they water. They do like the water. Um, how is it going to be with Echo being blind? We don't know. I don't know. She's we'll going to have to get used to it. We'll, we'll see. We'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Just like we always do. We'll figure it out. And Ozzy, he'll figure it out too. They better <laughs> like it because if not, you have to find another house. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure they'll like it. They'll get used to it. They get used to everything we do, so it'll work out. Okay, so the past couple of months, we've been anxiously looking for a boat, um, and we found it. We, we found, found the, boat. the boat, and um, we found a boat. So, so the boat it was lo is located in Cartagena, Colombia. Um, we met with the owner, spoke with him, came to an agreement in terms of the price. We mentioned to him that we needed the boat. The boat at the time of closing needed to be in American waters. He said it was not a problem. We would find a captain, someone to bring the boat to the United States. We could travel on the boat so we could get more experience. And pretty much we came to an agreement with everything. He said it wasn't a problem. So we decided to move forward with the survey. We went ahead and uh, uh, did the haul out. We also did the sea trial with the surveyor and everything came out great so when we spoke to the owner he also mentioned to us he said you know what you guys have to do the bottom paint so why don't you take advantage that you're doing the survey you're, that you're doing the haul out for the survey and then you do the bottom paint and anything else that you need to do while the boat is right out of the water okay so we are in the marina in cartagena and we're going to get done the sea no. trial we're doing the sea trial for 
our soon to be boat, our future boat. We're ready for the boat. Here's the limp. Oh, look, that's the dinghy. So we did the sea trial as the haul out and the survey was scheduled for the following day. Considering it was a 2007 boat, we all agreed that the catamaran was in good conditions and everything worked as expected. Okay. Hello. What's up people? We're What's back. What's up people? We're back. We're back. Day two. It is day two of the survey and sea trial and we are taking the boat to another marina which is the only one that can tow the boat, right? Do the hollow. Oh yeah, whatever. Do the hollow. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's yeah. it. I need to learn my marine languages. E. What else are we doing? We're also gonna see if we're able to paint the boat, um, because it seems like everything's gonna go through. So we're just gonna paint the boat, take advantage that we're already doing the hull out, paint it, and then fix some things that are under it, which we'll try to record as well, right? Buenos días. ¿Cómo va todo? Muy buenos días. ¿Todo bien? Hola Manuel. ¿Qué más? Caballerísimo, cuando ya estemos cerca de allá podemos llamar allá que ya estamos en camino. Vamos a pedir para llamar a salir de acá. Yo ya le mando el primer mensaje a la señora para que esté pendiente. We did the haul out of the boat for the survey and after seeing that the results of the inspection were positive, we made the decision to move forward and risk doing the bottom paint as well as upgrading the sail drives and other mechanical things. It had been two weeks since the first meeting with the seller, but he insisted that the agreement was not ready because his lawyer was still working on it. For our peace of mind, he gave us a good faith letter stating that in case the deal fell through, he would return $3,000 to us, which was the amount estimated for the paint and the fix-ups. However, the work actually ended up costing $4,100. Unfortunately, we didn't expect that the seller and his lawyer would end up taking three months to put together an agreement that was never actually finalized. Why are you not wearing your hat? Why are you not wearing your hat? <laughs> it's official. The boat is out of the water. <laughs> it's official. <laughs> it is out of the water. So, what are we doing? What are we doing, Bob the Builder? 
So they're gonna clean the boat and sand off the paint. And then that's it. We're gonna do a survey and then start doing the painting for new paint. And then we're also doing the lights, right? For six of the lights? Yeah. Making bottom lights and that's it. That's it? During these days, Alejo went to the marina every single day to help work on the boat. He learned from the mechanics and the other contractors on site. We started the deal in May and in July, after investing money, time, and most of all, a lot of energy so that the deal would work out, we quickly realized that the seller was not prepared to sell the boat or he simply didn't want to sell it anymore. As we had been ready to pay him and hire a captain to sell the vessel to the United States. But in three different occasions, the seller gave us more problems and more excuses. So we finally decided to cut the deal, even if it meant risking the money invested. We had reached the point where the stress of dealing with the seller and his lawyer on a daily basis without having any positive results was ruining our dream of becoming boat owners. Despite the fact that we kept all the receipts of the money invested on the vessel, the seller decided to only refund us the $3,000 that had been estimated on the letter. And it was so hard for us because like I said, you know, not only did we spend money on it, not only that we we had the risk of losing the money that we invested on the boat because we didn't know for sure that this guy was actually going to give us the money back. We were, um, you know, we had put in not only the money, but the time, the effort, like we were literally dealing with this thing for three months, 24 seven, like on a daily basis, super freaking stressful. And we just didn't know if it was going to work out or not. And we just said, you know what, we're done. It's better to just find something else, equally boat in the, in the world. It can't be the only, um, both that we're looking for so we just decided to to cut it and, and it was super hard but sometimes those hard decisions are needed and we just did it and and i think it was the best decision that we yeah. could have done so we are at for lauderdale we came to just catamaran to reach out to a broker see if we can take a look at other boats and see what's out there hopefully god please help us find another boat <laughs>